What fictional character had every right to become a villain? Carrie. LT. Harris in Police Academy. Those officer candidates were dangerously unpredictable and incompetent. He was doing the right thing by trying to get them removed. Magneto. Meowth. Edmund Dance the Count of Monte Cristo. Zuko. Clyde Shelton from Law Abiding Citizen. The Grinch. His neighbors are a bunch of obnoxious fundamentalists. He just wanted to live quietly on his mountain with his dog. Megamine? Mirabelle from Encanto. Most of her family treats her like crap cause she doesn't have a superpower. She gets told to stop helping. She gets excluded from a family portrait. She tries to warn the family that they're losing their powers and gets blown off. A YouTuber by the name of Lydia the Bard did a song about Mirabelle as a villain HTTPS colon www.youtube.comwatch equals or mk 8 deco 0 Colonel Hummel in the Rock IMO dude wasn't even really a villain, since one exclamation he was bluffing, he didn't actually intend to do anything, but we didn't know this at first, and two exclamation he wasn't even trying to act selfishly. He was pissed off at fat cat crony politicians living high on the hog while veterans suffered. Smallville's Lex Lover. Mickey Rourke in Iron Man 2. Tony's dad went all Thomas Edison on his dad. Frank Vincent in Casino. Payback for the Shinebox incident in Goodfellas. Tai Lung, MF got groomed his entire life, being told he'd be the Dragon Warrior, just to have everything he worked for taken away, and expect him to just be okay with it, just as for Tai Lung, they try to keep a brotha down. Ultron although to be fair technically shouldn't be a villain. He was built to identify and eliminate threats to humans, but the biggest threat to mankind is mankind itself, so he was just doing what he was built to do. Johnny and Karate Kid. Honestly, Harry Potter lost his parents before he was old enough to even know what he had and then raised by god-awful people although I like the theory that exclamation Harry being a horcrux made them worse than they would have been otherwise. Then, when he gets to Hogwarts, he has people drooling over the boy who lived around every corner, Snape being a complete asshole, all the smoke and mirrors from Dumbledore, Malfoy being a complete asshole, comes across what little family he has left just for exclamation serious and Lupin to fucking D.I.E. And that's on top of the constant evil schemes to kill him and or the people he loves every single year. If at any point in the series he had completely snapped and just gone on a rampage, you'd be like yeah, no shit of course he did. First that comes to mind is Gara. Mr. Freeze.